Small countries should keep up with the digital revolution and cooperate with one another. Only then will they have a strong position on the global economic stage. That's the message from Singapore's foreign minister and the former head of Israel's National Economic Council, who spoke at the S.R. Narthen Distinguished Lecture. Misha Rahim with more. Making the city a better place to live by embracing high-tech solutions, that's the aim of Singapore's Smart Nation movement. But it plays another crucial role to ensure that Singapore succeeds as a country. Singapore is so small, and because we are so dependent on the rest of the world, if we are not ahead of the curve, ahead and able to surf the wave, we will be lost under the tsunami of this new revolution. Dr. Vivian said that there are critical ingredients for Singapore to thrive in this revolution, such as getting the nation's infrastructure right. He gave the example that there are now two optical fibers in every home, giving fast mobile broadband. And he promised that Singapore will be on top of the latest hardware. But Israel's professor Eugene Kendall said small countries will face challenges even though they have an edge. And small technologically advanced countries have a lot in common. They are nimble, they are easier to pivot, they are on average more entrepreneurial, and uh, the, these are good things. But in the world of economies of scale, this is a disadvantage because you can be very, very dense ecosystem, but you multiply that by size, you're still a small ecosystem. And so, especially in the world which, in which technology drives, uh, is driven by scale. In Prof Kendall's mind, it's important for small advanced economies like Singapore and Israel to collaborate and pool resources. For instance, how Israel can learn from Singapore's strategic long-term view of matters.